Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm the Bearded Burton and thanks for tuning in to today's video. Wait a second. All right, that's better. Today is all about me sharing with you holiday gift ideas for the outdoorsman or outdoors woman in your life. I'm gonna break it up into two categories, stuff that's around the $50 or less range, maybe some stocking stuffer ideas, and then also some stuff that's more expensive, handmade, boutique kind of things. So stick with me. I'm gonna find a spot to make some lunch and coffee, and I'll get back with you. I've literally crammed this backpack full of stuff that weighs a whole lot. Let's get after it. All right, so now that I've gotten a little bit of something to eat and some coffee in me, uh, I'm gonna go over the things that are gonna be around the $50 or less range, more along your stocking stuffer kind of things. Things that are smaller that you could wrap up individually. We all like getting a bunch of little gifts instead of just one big one. So we're gonna go over that stuff right now. First up with the stocking stuffers or smaller gifts, this is a company called Field Notes. They make some awesome little notebooks. They fit perfect in your pocket, and there's actually a good amount of people that make different pouches and notebook covers for them. But they make ones that are waterproof. Uh, this one here is this one I use for my YouTube channel, like different video ideas and projects coming up. They most all have a ruler on the back page. Comes in handy if for tracking or something, wanting to measure a stick or something if you're working on carving stuff. They're really awesome uh, little notebooks. This is a guided field sharpener by WorkSharp. I've had this one now for about four years. Really, really handy tool to use for your, all your cutting tools. It's got removable diamond plates on both sides, a coarse and a fine, and a ceramic rod up top with a leather strop on the back. This is another uh, sharpener. This is by Linksky's. This is called the Mini Dog Bone. It's a ceramic sharpener, and it's really nice for smaller blades or uh, your pocket knife. These next couple ideas are going to help with your fire making. This is a man-made tinder by Zombie Tinder. They have different kits. This is a desert dry climate kit. It's really nice because it comes with a tin that's reusable with a screw top. These work really, really well for making fire, especially for little stoves because you can just light that wick and drop it right into the stove and get it going. They work well for regular fires too. I've never had one fail me. You would just have to bust the uh, wick up and strike it with your ferro rod. To help get a fire going even better is a V3 pocket bellows. This is basically a collapsible tube that you can stick in the fire to add oxygen to it to either accelerate it or get your coal bed going again the next morning. It's super handy. It just collapses right down and fits in your pocket really easy. And when you can put that smaller end into the coal bed and blow with the larger end, and man, it gets the fire going really, really well. I use this all the time and it works great for your stoves. Something that every outdoorsman should have is a folding saw. And what better folding saw than the Baco Laplander? It's a staple in the outdoors and bushcraft community. They're easy to repair to if it gets loose or if you want to get a new blade. And they're just really handy. They've got teeth that cut on the push and the pull stroke. And the back of it's sharp enough to scrape a ferro rod. These things last forever. Next, we have a really handy eating utensil by the company Heavy Cover. This is a titanium spork. It's got a full-length fork and a full-length spoon. So for people that like to eat freeze-dried foods or foods out of those pouches, this spoon gets all the way to the bottom of the pouch. It's also got a bottle opener, 
right here and some hex keys to help loosen stuff up. This is a really lightweight eating utensil. Last, I want to share with you a buddy of mine who has these custom hats. These are uh, Richardson Snapback hats. They're the 112 model. If you've never worn these, they're one of my favorites. They're super comfortable and uh, really, really well made. But his company is called Pronghorn Jack, and he has some really awesome colorways and uh, different patterns and stuff that he has made. You can find them on Instagram. Uh, he'll post up different runs of the ones that he has, but those patches are awesome. So now that we've gone over some of those smaller items like your stocking stuffers or maybe individual gifts that you can give people, I wanted to give some spotlight and show certain companies and uh, products that I believe in and stand behind. And a lot of these guys, I know them and they put a lot of work and effort into these, uh, into these goods that they make. First off, I wanted to show you uh, a guy and his name's Jay Barry Miller and his company is Tough Possum Gear. He's a local Texas guy and uh, he, he's a young guy that's just got this entrepreneur spirit about him. And the stuff that he makes is very high quality. He pays attention to every detail. He puts a lot of time and effort in researching and testing these products. And the main thing that he's making right now is uh, these different little possible pouches. He's got different sizes. These things are just really handy for us that are out in the outdoors because we can organize our gear and dedicate certain things to certain pouches. So this is one of, uh, one of his pouches that he makes. He also just started making what's called his survival scarf. Now this is based off an idea that he had from a, a Morse Kohansky book where it, it incorporates the idea of a scarf that you could wrap around your neck in the colder weather. And then in the same sense, it's one big tube. And we all know there's multiple uses that you can get out of something like this. You can stuff it full of debris or uh, clean clothes or whatnot, roll it up, make a pillow out of it. Uh, you could use it as kind of a knapsack to maybe hang something from a tree and tie it around a tree. And he's also gone to the extent too of putting the inside as a, as a blaze orange. So now you can only also use it for signaling if you wanna uh, hang this up to remember how to get back to your camp if you're out scouting around. Um, got his logo sewn right here, really high quality, a uh, really good ripstop material. Something I'm really excited to use. He, uh, he gave this to me at this little event that we were at not too long ago in San Saba. And uh, I'm really excited about this. So he's the first guy I wanted to highlight and uh, share with you if you were looking at getting some pouches or uh, something like this unique item a survival scarf next i wanted to share with you a company uh, called heavy cover and they make titanium products i've already showed you their spork i really really enjoy using that um this is their canteen kit it is a uh, cup a lid and the bottle and it comes with a plastic bot a plastic cap and it also comes with the stainless cap i really really enjoy this it's it's definitely a difference in weight whenever it comes to you filling this up with water, throwing it into your pack and, and going on hikes compared to filling up a stainless steel water bottle. But the downside is titanium is more expensive. So if you're looking for a, a cheap alternative to a container or whatnot that you could boil water in or cook in, uh, it might not be for you. But I'm telling you, once you get used to carrying the titanium, it's a, it, it's a lifesaver. The cup I just cooked in, I showed you the meal that I cooked. The handles swing out, they're nice and big. Uh, if you if you do it just right on your stove or um, have it on a bed of coals in a fire You can actually put these handles on the outside of the heat and they rarely get hot the titanium uh, Handles just kind of dissipate the heat really well the lid fits on there really really well It's got a nice big d-ring you can put sticks or uh, use your heavy cover spork and and get up underneath it to lift off the lid and check on your food It's just something that yes, it's a luxury item, but once you get it uh, you, you won't look back It's it's definitely worth it. So uh, heavy cover titanium canteen kit now something that goes right along with the heavy cover canteen kit is a product called the mother carrier by centerline systems now this is a canteen kit carrier that it comes with the shoulder strap i've removed it because i'm carrying in a, in a backpack and it's just something that's awesome to pair up with the uh with the canteen this is a, a handmade carrier uh i'm good actually pretty good buddies with the uh with the owner of centerline systems and he takes a lot of pride and uh, a lot of detail into his work and trying to figure out the best most effective way to use some of this gear that we that we love and that we uh, want to take with us it's got a simple buckle on the front that holds everything in one large main velcro pocket one side pocket that clips on the side nice and deep and then another one on this side and then inside the kit, once you pull out the canteen, 
and the cup that nests in there, you got a couple of options. I like to personally always carry uh, the stove that I showed you earlier with me in this kit. So I put my lid on the bottom underneath the cup and the canteen and I put the stove behind it. There's a small pouch here in the back that you can either store your lid in or something like this stove or, or whatever else you would want. The inside has this uh, rubber type coating on it that's really, really durable. It does a couple of different things. If you're, if you're filled up your canteen with cold water, it keeps the condensation from coming through and soaking into the bottom of the bag and getting everything wet inside your kit. And it also keeps all the black gunk and everything that you get from using your cup and whatever in the fire or on a stove from getting all over everything. It protects the inside of the, uh, of the case and the, the outside of you know, whatever else your gear might be touching. Centerline Systems also makes this really awesome tool roll. He has two different versions, the Gen 1 and the Gen 2. This one is a Gen 2, and it has uh, all the pockets and stuff on the inside, the way it's lined up. And it's really, really handy. These kind of tool, tool rolls like this, you can fit a lot of stuff into, and it really helps keep stuff organized. Like with this one, I got a lot of my shelter implements, my cordage, my gloves, uh, a knee pad panel or a, a signal panel. Um, I can put even an emergency bivy or tarp in this. And it's really nice to roll it all up. It straps down. It's actually got a carry handle to where you can pull it out of your bag and carry it with you to set your shelter up. And it fits really well into, into the bottom of most bags. So this is the gear roll, uh, the Gen 2 gear roll by Centerline Systems. Another company that I really like the products that he makes is Firebox Stove. Now with me today I have the smaller stove that he makes. It's called the Nano and he makes those in the stainless steel and the titanium versions. But he also makes a large five inch folding firebox that you could really crank the heat up with and, and cook with bigger uh, pots, pans and, and whatnot. And I own that one also just for day hikes and stuff like this. It's really handy to have something like this. So it's a small wood burning stove and it's the simplest thing ever to set up. It just unfolds and the bottom drops down and your stove's ready to go. You can set these legs up any way that you want. You can open them up wide. You can open them, you know, turn them in for something smaller. And it's really, really efficient. It's got two feed ports here on the sides and a lot of draft that comes in from the bottom. That's really important because once this thing gets going, it cranks out the heat. Um, his website has a lot of other things on there, like some of the smaller things that I showed you, like that pocket bellows and whatnot. And it's just a, an overall really ingenious, uh, company and, and and the things that they come up with and he's constantly innovating and changing stuff so this is the uh, folding firebox uh, nano next I wanted to go over a wood carver a spoon carver a kukska carver his name's Alexander Yerkes and I followed his stuff for a while on Instagram and and uh, the blog that he would he would write about and I got to meet him personally uh, a couple of weeks back the same time that I got to meet uh, tough possum gear and we hung out and man just an awesome guy and to me that makes it even more uh, more meaning behind backing his uh, his company or backing his vision and his goals and his dreams and his work is just beautiful i happen to uh really really fall in love with the the spoon or scoop that he made i use it like a spoon even though it's pretty big and it's just it's amazing quality stuff and he hand does all of it he doesn't use any sandpaper his cuts and his trimmings on his woodworking is so smooth that he doesn't need sandpaper. It, it feels good to use and enjoy food or coffee and whatnot with something that somebody hand carved. Uh, so this is a more or less a treasure. Um, his stuff is really, really good. He puts up different things for sale on his Instagram. Uh, you can follow his page in his store and see what he's got available. He's constantly working and uh, revising his craft and getting better and better and better. So. This is uh, something really cool to have. It's gonna last a lifetime, and it's really exciting to share someone uh, who, who has such passion for their work like, like Alex does. Now on to everybody's favorite when it comes to these kind of videos, knives. We can't have enough of them. So uh, wives, husbands, if you're confused as to what to get, you can't go wrong with the knife. So I wanted to share with you uh, some budget-friendly knives first. Um, this company's been around forever. They're out of Sweden. Mora Knives. I've got probably four or five of these different styles that they make, but they're all really, really well made. This one's in stainless. It's got a really comfy grip on it. 
This is one of my older ones. It's all patinaed and rusted up, but it's still just a razor, the companion. And they're just all around great knives. I've got a couple in my truck, you know, some in this kit. I, they're just so handy to have. And for the prices that they cost, uh, you can't beat them. They'll last a lifetime and uh, they're really, really good quality knives. So Mora knives are definitely an option that you can get your, uh, your loved ones for these holiday. Another company that I wanted to spotlight that's very dear to me, I'm friends with a lot of them that work there, is LT Wright Knives. They are a, uh, a handmade custom knife company uh, that takes a lot of pride in, in what they're making. This is going to be for somebody who, who's already got their Moras and they're wanting that, that next step knife. They're wanting that one that someone's hand rolled the handles and has checked the edges and has put time into making sure that they're, uh, that they're right. These are all full tang knives that they make. They make ones that are as small as like this Bush Baby that's perfect for a little kit. Up to knives like this Gen 6, AKA the Big Larry, the Larry Roberts signature knife. Beautiful leather work and sheaths, really good Kydex. They make all kinds of accessories, whether it's danglers that you can clip on your belt and add to a knife that they may already, your loved ones may already have. They make uh, custom knives throughout the year. If you're part of the pout house, you can get limited made knives or one of knives. It's just a really good company. Uh, they're American made, they're here in the, in the US and Ohio, and they, they do as much as they can to keep everything there. And, and it's just really cool to support a business like this. So check these guys out too, LT Wright Knives. And the last company that I wanted to share with you today in this video is the Hidden Woodsman. Uh, this is a really good buddy of mine also. His name is Malcolm, and he hand makes all of these goods. Um, I've been following Malcolm and have seen his work since the early days. And to see where he's come from and where he is now, it's really remarkable. It's, uh, it's really cool to, to see how much pride he takes in making these handmade goods. So he makes all kinds of pouches. I just have this one with me today and his day ruck backpack. Um, it's what I carried all this stuff in. But even his zippers, they're, you know, he sources them out of the US. Uh, his buckles are mill spec. The webbing he uses is mill spec. He makes tinder bags like this. His day ruck, really great day pack. Uh, I believe it's about a 20 liter pack. It's got a front pocket here in the front. It's got a, a little open pocket in the back. It comes with a side pocket for like your Baco saw that I showed earlier. Um, really big, it's got storm flaps that go over the top and uh, Velcro panels on the front that you can add your different morale patches to. The molly webbing on the side, I had him uh, make me a custom axe sleeve on the side. He's, he's come a long way. I mean, even this day ruck now is, uh, is outdated compared to the new ones he's making. So he's constantly progressing. He's constantly trying to get better. And that's something that I can stand behind. He takes a lot of pride in his work. And to me, that's worth backing. So check him out too, uh, The Hidden Woodsman. That's gonna wrap up today's video. I hope I helped give you some ideas for this holiday season and gifts that you can give your loved ones. All this is gear that I stand behind, that I've used and that I trust and that's held the test of time for me. I hope this helped you out. Remember, get outside and enjoy the woods.